Hey everyone, I'm Shaguna Dulawu. And I'm Christina Guerrero. Okay, I think we can all agree that as kids, we were fascinated by dinosaurs, especially the stuff of Jurassic nightmares, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Before the Ice Age, this was one creature you did not want to run into, so we decided to relive our childhood and get up close and personal with a queen of the dinosaurs. That's our featured story on the top of the list. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs, was one of the world's deadliest creatures known to man. But there's one T-Rex in particular who is holding court at the Arizona Science Center in Phoenix, Arizona. The first stop on her world tour. Here she is. Chief Curiosity Officer and loyal subject, Sari on Science, is here to introduce the realm to this queen of the dinosaurs. Her name is Victoria. Victoria the T-Rex is 66 million years old, found in 2013 in Face, South Dakota. She was processed in Victoria, British Columbia, hence the name Victoria, and she's incredible. And she's incredibly real, too. Most museums reconstruct these animals out of casts of fossils, but... At 40 feet long and 199 real bones, she's one of the largest and most complete T-Rexes ever found. In fact, she's only the second T-Rex in existence to have as many real bones as she does. This is a unique opportunity to really get up close and personal with real fossils. The next thing to know about Victoria is that there's something special about those real fossils. Something that a lot of people don't know is that only about 50 T-Rex skeletons have ever been found. So it's a pretty big deal that she's as complete as she is, but even the parts that are missing are pretty cool too. Anything that the scientists didn't have, they 3D printed to give you a really complete picture of what she would have looked like. And if you saw Victoria roaming the land back in her day, she wouldn't be hard to miss. Now, if we were to able to see her in all of her complete glory when she was living, Victoria would be about 10 and a half tons. She's huge. Victoria also has some features that make her stand out even more. She was found with an unusually complete skull, and in that skull, she has two teeth growing out of one socket, which has never been seen before in another T-Rex. In fact, her mouth tells us a lot, especially her jaw. She has marks from fights with other dinosaurs, actually other T-Rexes. But there's also evidence that this queen didn't go down easy. She's got marks on her neck showing that she likely had a broken neck that healed. But then there's her other most notable feature, those classic T-Rex arms. One of the top questions when it comes to T-Rex is what are those little tiny arms for? If you look at her, they're inward oriented. So really T-Rex, they're clappers, not slappers. Those arms could actually grip things. So they're definitely functional. Now what they were used for, those ideas are out. Visit Victoria at the Arizona Science Center until May 2020 before the next stop on her world tour. We waited 66 million years to meet her, but today Victoria reigns supreme over the top of our list. Skeletons are cool because I wouldn't want to see a T-Rex in the flesh. And since the days of the dinosaurs,